What's good in the hood, YouTube? This is Crazy Samurai Seventy One here, bringing you another video. Today's video is on Power Rangers Dino Charge Episode Seven. The episode is entitled "Let the uh, Let Sleeping Zords Lie." So, this episode starts off with the Rangers trying to uncover some fossils, trying uh, trying to do some stuff like that. Um, we end up seeing them all talking, and eventually we end up seeing uh, Shelby. Now, Shelby is doing some research on her own, trying to, trying to figure out some interesting stuff um, about what they can do in regard to finding more energems or fossils or whatever. Um, what, she ends up speaking to the uh, other Rangers and mentioning that she has this idea where she might be, which which could result in them being able to find several fossils by using their own inner gems in order to track other fossils. The other rangers don't think it's going to work very well and don't really tr trust her abilities and think that they're uncertain how, how capable sh she would be in that regard. But she... But regardless, um, they listen. Um, one thing is, is that this is a side note. Um, she ends up because they're out in the heat, and she ends up stealing. She ends up drinking their drinks uh, out out in the heat, and they complain to her. And just in general, that that, that creates more tension for them with her. Uh, eventually, what happens is, is that they is that she basically is just like, okay, you know what? You're right. You guys aren't gonna believe me. I'm just gonna leave you guys. I don't even need you guys. She goes away for two seconds. Then she comes back. She's like, um, uh, I actually need your t keys, Tyler. And then, and then Tyler just throws the, um, the keys at her so she can go back to the base. Uh, also, she grabs one of the, she grabs a drink also. And let's just say the Rangers aren't necessarily the most happy with her. When back at the base, we end up seeing a, a discussion between Shelby and Kendall. Now, as we know, in really early on in the, like, probably the, you know, the first two episodes alone, Shelby and Kendall really didn't get along very well. And in this episode, they get along better, but they're not, you know, perfectly in sync. They're not perfectly comparable, but it's definitely an improvement. So what ends up happening is, is that back at the base, uh, she ends up talking. Uh, Shelby ends up talking to Kendall about her idea. Ke uh, Kendall at first is pretty mu pretty much thinks nothing of it. Like she she th thinks it's impossible. She thinks it's ridiculous. She she treats her like nothing, and she treats her exactly like she did before, if not worse. And Shelby says Shelby talks right back to her, and it's really it's really awesome. Like Shelby is great is a great character, and. And that's why a lot of people really loved her in like the first two episodes. Shelby is an excellent character. So, so what she does is she's like, well, you, you, you think nothing of me automatically. You just automatically, like since the day I've started, you, you've been treating me like, like I'm nothing. And she basically says that to, uh, to, to Kendall. And it's pretty much true. It's pretty much true. And she explains, she says all this stuff to her. And then Kendall's like, all right, I'll listen. I'll, I, I, I want to hear, give me information. So... Shelby explains to Kendall what her idea is. Kendall at first is a bit hesitant, but she she eventually warms up to it, and that's when Kendall and Shelby begin to work together on a device uh, in order to track the uh, to track the other dinosaurs. Because the other thing is is that they're trying to find since there's ten dinosaurs and they only have five right now, they are hoping to track the other ones down. So what they end up doing is they end up trying to cr uh, to create using their other energems, um, uh, like an anklo energem or an uh, anklo uh, charger, uh, in order to, or something along those lines, in order to locate the other energems. So they end up creating something, with a whole doing a whole bunch of experiments, and eventually they're able to use this device called the E Tracer. Now this E tracer is the device that they, they would be using now to track these inner gems down, so that in the future, when it comes to locating where certain uh, di where certain uh, zords are, it basically isn't going to become the most imp the most ridiculously impossible thing in the world. Now it's actually possible to locate them. It's not just like okay, we're we're just going to run around in circles and find nothing. So in this case, they actually can do it. Um, the thing though is, is that though this seems like a great thing, prior to this, um, Poisandra um, ends up having some discussions. Look, ends up hearing Sledge complaining to Fury about how, oh, how come these Rangers have found all five of these energems and yet we haven't found one of them? 
what are we are we nothing how, how stupid can you guys be and so what ends up happening is is that poissandra overhears it and poissandra thinks hmm maybe i could find some energy gems and so what she does is that she she begins to recruit like wrench because she thinks that wrench and that wrench could help her uh get get the uh like track some energy gems down so that uh sledge will love her and eventually you know good stuff will happen for her uh and so what ends up happening is is that she ends up talking to him and um wrench ends up helping out when uh the rangers try to track down the ender gems um what ends up happening is is that their signal is intercepted because wrench helps out poissandra and poissandra when she when they end up intercepting the signal um they end up finding out, out about the information in regard to where the zord would be uh, where the enclosure uh, would be located or, or di dino uh, charger would be located so because of that uh the villains you know poissandra has an up upper hand, uh, hand here so it's, it's good on her part uh the the rangers all of them at this point have actually returned so they 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 all get to hear about how, how she's created this device good things have happened while the other rangers were gone and how shelby has done something really useful um they go to the site of where the ankles were supposedly meant to be held um when they get there they see that it's that, that it's open and it's like a cat it's like a it's like there's a big hole in the ground massive hole very big and so what ends up happening is is that the rangers are, are feel very hesitant and think that mm, someone probably must have been here already. We, we probably missed our chance or something like that. And they feel not so positive. They don't feel very positive about themselves. What ends up happening is we end up see we end up seeing some villains pop out of that hole. Who exactly or what exactly? Uh, we end up seeing Poisandra, some Vivixes, uh, and the new villain for the episode, which which I'm just gonna say his name now, even though his name is said a little bit later. His name is Sting Rage that will be explained in a few seconds i'm just going to say it though so what ends up happening is, is that the rangers end up fighting the vivixes and Poise and all and all and sting rage and Poise Central or whatever and what happens is, is that eventually riley has the e-tracer device on hand and he checks this in or just to see for sure um is the ankle sort of really there or or ankle or ankle charger really there there's no signal at first for some reason. He, he's confused and he's just like, okay, well, this is pointless. But Stingrage ends up bringing up this idea that, well, I, regardless of whether or not there's a signal there, I have a present for each of you guys if you, if you want. And the thing is, is that they just keep on fighting and eventually Stingrage ends up shooting something out of him, um, which ends up, go, uh, ends up attaching to Coda. Now when it now and what is it? It's basically like a stinger. So what happens once this the stinger ends up uh, attaching on to Coda? Coda become Coda begins to attack all the other Rangers. He he doesn't know why he's doing it. He's just doing it. Uh, is he talking? You know, no. It's not like he has any like mental control. He's not able to talk to them, but he's just punching and kicking them and doing all sorts of stuff. The Rangers eventually have to hold him down, and then Shelby pulls out the stinger and. Basically, if you haven't figured it out yet, sting rage. Okay, so when the sting, when his stinger attaches to a person or a ranger or a thing, they become enraged. Ergo, why his name is Sting Rage. Anyway, so that happens. Uh, following this, um, the the um, fo following this, the uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember really quickly. Um, what ends up happening is is that they end up worrying that possibly uh they, they end up wondering what might be down the cavern just in case uh suddenly what happens is after they remove the stinger out of coda uh the ankylosaur comes up out of the ground so we get to see the ankylosaur for the first time and i'll tell you this much it's an awesome sword it's a great sword i'm actually very curious to see how they're going to do that because of the, the fact that you know there's supposed to be an actual ranger that he's supposed to that the ankylosaur is supposed to be you know connected towards and currently speaking in this episode there is none so not really sure exactly when or what point or what we're going to do in regard to when we're going to see a ranger that's going to you know interact with the ankylosaur but anyway what ends up happening is is that um the um what ends up happening is is that the 
Rangers end up um, speaking to uh, the Rangers end up going back to base and they end up speaking to Keeper and Kendall. Uh, they end up discussing. Uh, Keeper ends up mentioning how um, the Enclosort is supposed to be connected to the Aqua Energem, which currently has no Ranger uh, connected to it. So at the moment. They have, there's no real connection, so no one's really controlling it. It could also just be that, they, that they're not around and they've left the, the, the Zord away, they say, which is very similar to the Sentai in that regard. Uh, anyway, what ends up happening is is that they end up discussing all this and Sh Shelby ends up uh, feeling bad. She ends up thinking that her, her, uh, her device was a complete failure. It was a waste of time. It was done poorly. And then Kendall ends up saying, no, it's not your fault. It's my fault. I ended up forgetting to encrypt the um I, I, I ended up forgetting to encrypt the e tracker so that the so that Poisandra and Wrench and all of them wouldn't be able to track me. I mean wouldn't be able to tra wouldn't be able to track wouldn't be able to intercept our signal. Sorry about that guys. Uh, I had a little uh, issue right there so I had to stop. All right. Um anyway when uh, cuz there's some noise in the background. Anyway, what ends up happening following this is that the Rangers end up um Discussing all this about the, um, the Rangers end up discussing, um, all this with them, and then show, and as I said before, Kendall feels bad because she knows that it's her fault. Uh, Kendall wants to go out and, uh, fix the problem with the Ankylosaurus or do something in some way, so she goes in, in there, in a vehicle or whatever. Um, following this, the, um, <laughs> Following this, the um, what was it again? I'm trying. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to remember right now. I just lost track because of what, what what that noise was a minute ago. Um, she ends up going in the vehicle, and Shelby uh, tails her. So gets on her tail, ba and basically what ends up happening is that Shelby ends up going in the back of the, uh, of the of the truck or vehicle or whatever that they're in, and it's the same vehicle that that she ended up going into in the first episode when she ended up getting her energy jump. So yeah, it seems like Shelby likes to uh, you know tail along for a lot of adventures. If you haven't already guessed, it's become a trend here. <laughs> um, anyway, what ends up happening is is that they is that Kendall ends up driving all the way over to where. Um, to, to where the Zord supposedly meant to be. Um, Kendall comes comes out towards the back. She ends up seeing uh, Shelby uh, in the back of the vehicle, and they end up talking. And Shelby's like, "You're not gonna do this alone. I have to be here. You 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 really need me. And we we both worked on this together, so we should both do this together." And so Kendall's like, "All right, fine." So following this, they end up walking towards the site, and eventually, what ends up happening is that we end up seeing, you know, Poisandra, Stingrage, and the Vivixes again. And the and the thing was is that prior to this, um, Shelby was thinking of actually going down into the cavern and just dealing with with it. And Kendall thinks she's nuts. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, anyway, when uh, the uh, monsters, when uh, Poisandra, the Vivixes, and uh, Stingrage appear, what ends up happening is is that uh, Stingrage ends up knocking uh, uh, Shelby into the cavern below, or like hole below. Um, when when she does so, what ends up happening is is that the um, is that she ends up seeing the Ankylosaur face to face, and she ends up trying to talk to her or whatever, but like the Zord, like, she, like she's very intimidated by it. Let's just say that much. Uh, eventually, what happens is is that Kendall though is left alone up above, so there's no other ranger there. So what ends up happening is is that the villains are basically ready to attack her. And for someone who isn't a ranger, at least not yet, I'm not saying that she is going to be one. Uh, though, though there there is some speculation, and there is a let's just say there's a pretty high chance that she will end up being one. Um, at this moment, she's not one. She's not a ranger, and her fighting abilities definitely show that she could that she definitely has the potential to be one. Because though she's not the you know the toughest character ever, and though she wasn't though in this part she's not able to really destroy any of the Vivixes or anyone really. She definitely is able to put up somewhat of a fight. So, 
that's pretty good. So what ends up happening then is that a stingray, a stingray almost uh, ends up um, almost destroying Kendall, but suddenly Tyler comes out to rescue her, and then the other um, guy rangers end up appearing since, you know, Kendall's below. I mean, Kendall, Shelby's below. Um, so following this, they end up defending Kendall, and um, eventually what ends up happening is is that um, the, all... Um, the, the, the four male ragers fight the Vivixes and Poissandra and Stingrage. Uh, Stingrage fights Tyler, of course. Um, Poissandra ends up fighting... Um, ends up fighting um, Chase. Um, and they just all fight. Uh, eventually what happens is that uh, the rangers almost be, uh, almost end up being destroyed by Poissandra. Yes, not Stingrage, but almost being destroyed by Poissandra. But what ends up happening is, is that... Uh, Shelby comes out of the ground with the Ankylosaurus, and the Ankylosaurus now has the st stinger out of it. And we actually get to see a clip in the cavern, which is really awesome. Like it's, it's very uh, there's so much original, uh, there's so many original scenes in like the cavern right there. You see morphed inside the cavern, her talking to the, uh, talking to the Ankylosaurus, and that's all original footage. That's none of that's like none of that's taken from the Sentai. So. That's an awesome scene. So, so eventually she comes up with the Ankylosaurus and um, she's on top of it or whatever. And then she comes over to the Rangers. They end up doing the speaking part of their morphing sequence. They end up fighting the v uh, a few Vivixes, and Shelby ends up using her like uh, her um, drill based uh, based weapon on uh, Stingrage. Stingrage gets destroyed pretty quickly um, following this, and uh, then. Um, Sledge uses the Magna Beam on Stingrage. Stingrage gets big, and we get to see a Megazord battle. Uh, in this Megazord battle, I mean, I don't, well, we, we get to see a giant. Well, yeah, it's a Megazord battle. Yeah, I don't know why I'm saying it's not. Um, so what ends up happening then is the um, is that the we get to finally see the Ankylosaurus. Um, used in battle so what ends up happening is they end up using the tri ankylo formation ankylo formation which um because of the tri ankylo formation um just so everyone's aware the ankylosaurus um the tail of the ankylosaurus has a hammer attached to it so the weapon that the ankylosaurus uses in battle like uses is the is the, is the hammer end of its tail so what ends up happening is is that as a zord it's used as a hammer so they end up fighting uh sting rage and when they fight and when they fight sting rage um what, what ends up happening is is that they end up using the hammer and um and uh they end up using um St um an the ankylosaurus tail you know the hammer to uh destroy uh sting rage and sting rage ends up being attacked by the the hammer finisher or whatever it's called uh it's, i believe that's right um so what ends up happening then is that the um is, is that we end up seeing um the villains back up in space ta um, talking we see poissandra and fury fury's complaining to poissandra about it. how do you, like why did you have this monster created what, what, why do you think this was really a great idea and then uh, Sl you know sludge is there to really just defend her i mean he's not in the same room but you but like his presence overall and him screaming to fury or whatever basically can end any conversation between the two of them, between poissandra and fury so what ends up happening then, we end up seeing the rangers back in the dinosaur cafe or whatever. Uh, they're talking, they're relaxing, uh, talking about how, how uh, Shelby's device sh uh, should be great now. It should have a lot of use. It should help with a lot of um, uncovering of zords. And so overall, everyone's like really joyous. It's good stuff. Um, and eventually we end up seeing Shelby appear because actually at this point Shelby wasn't there, but now she is. So when Shelby appears, um, she hears all this also. And, um, what ends up happening then is that she's like, God, I'm thirsty. See, and then the Rangers all hide their drinks because early in the episode, she's like, I'm so thirsty. And she drank all their drink, their drinks. So in this case, they all hit them. Uh, eventually what happens is, is that she's like, all right, very funny guys. And so then what happens is, is that uh, Kendall appears before the Rangers. Kendall says to the Rangers, um, uh, Kendall says to Shelby, uh, thank you for your services. Um, we're, we're giving you this award. Um, 
for your efforts. It's this fossil that you, it's, it's your favorite fossil. Let's just say that. Um, what ends up happening is that she ends up removing. She's like, like Shelby ends up removing the fossil from this box, and let's just say it's not her favorite fossil. Let's just say it's dinosaur excrement. And if you're wondering what dinosaur excrement is, it's dinosaur poop, and it's fossilized. So. Shelby's at first like, what is this? And then when she finds out, she's just like, are you serious? Also, one other thing I wanted to mention was that apparently Coda's father was also an inventor. He invented the wheel, and that was a joke also. But um, Coda, again, makes another joke uh, here, which is where he ends up saying to Shelby, uh, um, like he ends up making some jokes to, to Shelby about, uh, about this fossil, and she ends up dropping it on the ground and then wiping anything that was on her hand from the fossil all on Coda, and Coda's just like, what's wrong with you? And, and so basically that ends the episode. It's kind of funny. Anyway, that's about it, guys. Uh, I know that there was a few interruptions here and there. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I, I, I wish that it wouldn't have been that way, but uh, can't always control these things. Uh, people are in, are in my house, so it's hard. Uh, anyway, following the, uh, anyway, I, so I just wanted to wrap this up and say, um, I thought this episode was, was good. Um, I, I personally, it told me a lot, but at the same time, I'm still very curious to see wh how we will be introduced to the Aqua Ranger and how that will work out because, you know, there's the special Ranger for the, for the season, but then there's the, you know, there's supposed to be 10 Rangers. So I'm personally very curious and I'm wondering uh, just a lot just very much so like how they're going to introduce the aqua ranger or any of the, or the graphite ranger or, or any of the ones that aren't just going to be gold like how are they going to do that so till then guys uh i hope you guys enjoyed this this review i hope you guys also enjoyed the episode for those that actually did watch the episode um and um just in general guys uh, i hope you're enjoying everything um um so anyway uh I love this episode, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Um, look in the description for all that information. And um, bye, guys.